The ancient Egyptians were experts at cutting and moving multi-ton blocks with relative ease. But what's so special about stacking rocks, when we now have computers and live in skyscrapers? It is only with the use of this type of modern machinery that we've seen signs that we might be starting to catch up to what the ancient Egyptian empire once was. And whether we like it or not, skyscrapers too are all simply rocks and minerals from the ground just like the pyramids. And while the pyramids will definitely last another 10,000 years, most skyscrapers certainly won't. These limestone blocks clearly weren't removed from the bedrock of the Giza Plateau, using the wedge and peg method to crack the rocks, because of the massive gaps between adjacent blocks, and the clearly identifiable grid lines. Plus, all the wedge and peg method of quarrying stones was done by Roman soldiers to break up blocks that were already shaped from a much older time, but that the Romans found too big to move in one piece. Nonetheless, all this is limestone and so unlike granite, it could easily have been quarried by teams of people with iron, 